up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so for today we're going to discuss about the introduction to quadratic equations so for the first activity you're going to state whether each of the following equations represents a quadratic equation number one we have y is equal to x squared plus four Notice that the highest exponent in this particular example is 2, so we can consider it as a quadratic equation. Next, number 2, we have y is equal to x plus 9. It is not a quadratic equation because it is an example of a linear equation. Number 3, we have 2x squared minus 3x is equal to y. It's an example of a quadratic equation since the highest exponent is equal to 2. For the fourth example, we have y is equal to 3 squared minus 2. Now notice that if we're going to evaluate 3 squared, it is equal to 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. So definitely, it is not an example of a quadratic equation. Now what is a quadratic equation? A quadratic equation is defined by the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to 0. Let's try to write the following equation into its standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And then we're going to identify the values of a, b, and C. Okay, for number 1, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 4. So the first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to combine like terms. So in order for us to combine like terms, we're going to subtract both sides of the equation by 4. And that will give us 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 minus 4 is equal to 0, which can be simplified as 2x squared plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0, giving us the values of a, b, and c as 2, 5, negative 7, respectively. Now for number 2, we have x squared plus 2x is equal to 3x. Again, we're going to combine like terms. Notice that 3x is on the right side of the equation. So in order for us to eliminate 3x, we're going to subtract both sides of the equation by 3x. So that will give us x squared plus 2x minus 3x is equal to 0. And then we're going to simplify or combine like terms and that will be 2x minus 3x which is equal to negative x giving us x squared minus x is equal to 0. Now, to identify the values of a, b, and c, a here is equal to 1. Our b is equal to the constant or the coefficient of negative x, which is negative 1. And since we don't have a constant term here, simply c now is equal to 0. Now, for number 3, we have x times the quantity of 4x plus 6, which is equal to 28. So, the first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to apply the distributive property of multiplication. So, we're going to multiply x to the terms inside the parentheses. And what are those terms? We have 4x and 6. So, therefore, that will be x times 4x, which will uh, give us a product of 4x squared. And x times 6 is equal to 6x, which is equal to 28. And then after that, we're going to subtract both sides of the equation by 28. And that will give us 4x squared plus 6x minus 28 is equal to 0. 
So identifying the coefficients of x squared, the coefficient of x which is represented by b, and of course the constant term. So we have a now is equal to 4, b is equal to 6, and our c is equal to negative 28. For the fourth example, we have the quantity of x plus 2 multiplied to the quantity of x plus 4, which is equal to 0. So in this in particular example, again, we're going to use the distributive property, or we can use a simple shortcut, which is the FOIL method. It stands for the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, and the last term. So if we're going to apply the distributive property, it will give us a product of x squared plus 6x plus 8, which is equal to 0. Now, in this case, it is on its standard form. So, we can easily identify the values of a, b, and c. Again, how can we identify the values of a, b, and c? Remember that a is a coefficient or the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant term. So, therefore, if we have x squared, the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1, meaning a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 6. Since the coefficient of x is equal to 6 and the constant term is 8, which represents the value of c. That's all for today guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more video updates. Thank you!